Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Art and Tech Productions. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can download Wine and use it to download Windows apps on your Chromebook. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, these are the requirements. You're going, uh, I don't know if you're going to need developer mode, but you will need Linux beta. So, you know, all you have to do, all you have to do is go up here to Linux beta. And for me, since I already have it downloaded, it just shows this, but for you, you just have to download it and the one thing you're, you're going to need to remember is the username you put as your um yeah just your username for the terminal so just make sure you remember that now let's go ahead and get started so first what you want to do is you want to go inside the terminal have a terminal up or open and uh, i'm going to have these commands in the description for you guys so this is what you want to do you want to go ahead and do sudo apt get install wine so you don't need any type of repository to download this I guess it's something inside the system that automatically has that repository already in so that's gonna be 285 megabytes so it shouldn't take long so yeah it, it shouldn't take that long so I'm gonna just go ahead and download it see you see it's 61 70, 83 see it's, it's going it's, it's not even well but the one thing about it is you need to have around two to three gigabytes of free space just to make sure that your windows apps run smoothly and uh, you're actually able to open them and download them so that's that's one uh, that's another requirement that you're going to need and for um for this video i'm going to be downloading our fan view it's like a a photo editor it can be a photo editor you can draw on it you can do all that fun stuff and you can download you might be able to download iTunes I tried it it wasn't really working for me it, um, but I, I will make I'll try to make a later video just if I, I'm if I'm able to get it to work but I'm gonna use earth and view and this video I'm gonna show you how to use it so just know that's one of them that work so yeah so I'm going to make a video after this, so you just be ready for that. And once this is done, we can move on. And after this one, you're going to need to um, go into the uh, put in the root command. That just puts you into the root directory. So we'll just wait. It shouldn't be take that much longer. And done. Okay. Well, now we got that done with. Now what you need to do is you need to uh, um, go ahead and you got you gotta you're gonna go into your root directory. Control C and just go in here and right click. And then once it shows root over there, you know that you're inside the root directory. Then what you want to do is you want to add architecture. And it's, it, that's just going to take like a millisecond to load. Then you're going to update and install Wine. And you can put those commands all in one because because it won't, it won't, I mean, it'll download all of them, but you're still going to have to press enter, but you just don't have to type all of it in. So it's updating right now and then it'll download Wine32. And then you're pretty much uh, done with the, just the downloading part. And it's about it's going to be done in a, in a few. I say in a minute. Yeah, see that now this one is that's why I said you're going to need around two to three gigabytes because you see that's seven hundred twenty nine megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm not gonna make you guys wait this. This shouldn't take long, but it's 729 gigabytes and the larger it is, the longer it's gonna take. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fast forward this, but just press Y and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now it's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on to the part where you're downloading your XE file. But if you guys want to try this um, Earth Fan View, um, app or Windows app. I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna go to the site, and I will put the uh, link to the site in my description 
unless you want to search it up by yourself. I mean, it's not that hard to search it up on Chrome. You can search up earthfanview.exe file or just earthfanview. And then you see right here, just download the you can download a 64-bit Windows installer or you can download the Earth the 32-bit depending on the type of um, phone you have. I mean, not phone, but computer, Chromebook. So now once you download that, you need to go to your files and you need, please, so you don't mess up anything, you need to change the name of the file to something easier because if you don't, it's going to be hard to... Um, open it inside of the terminal when you try to so what you want to do is once you ha once you have it you need to grab it and drag it all the way to linux files just the linux files don't and there's no folders you need to so you, you see it's in linux files right now all you have to do is just to install the app you need to um well we're going to reset uh, the terminal because it's going to keep you inside of the root um the root directory so I'll go back into it and then once it pulls up then all you have to do is just yep see it's up now and you you see it's going to put you back inside your home directory and you just put wine then you just right click on there rename and then just highlight the whole uh, name of it including the XE then you just put wine space and right click depending on what type of Chromebook you have you just uh, right click to copy and paste then once you do this you know it's working when it shows this and it doesn't uh, bring you back to um, your home directory that's how you know it's working So it's, it's it's running the installer right now. So once it does, you'll see a screen pull up, and that'll be the um the installer that comes with that XE file. Now, guys, it's going to show this screen: the Wine configuration and slash home slash whatever username is for Linux slash dot Wine, and it says it's being updated. So we just need to wait. And it, that sh it doesn't take long at all. So once it's done updating, it'll bring up the Earth and View setup. I just want to show you guys this because if you guys are think something's going on, going on that's not supposed to happen because of the screen pulling up, 